motivation, inspiration. It's all bullshit without taking action. International best-selling author, serial entrepreneur, tough love, no BS, high-performance coach with an attitude. Welcome to the Queendom, where we talk about proven strategies to scale your business and scale your mind for ultimate success. And here's your hostess, cash flow queen, Kenitra. Greetings and peace, family. Welcome to another great episode here with the TheQueenDome.com. Today we're going to be discussing the law of detachment. The law of detachment. Save yourself a lot of stress, a lot of grief, a lot of frustration just by simply detaching. Now before we get in and dive in here, let's take a couple of deep breaths and get into the present moment. So we will breathe, we will become present, and we will honor this moment that we're in right now. So let's breathe. All right, beautiful. All right, so what what is the law of detachment? Well, the law of detachment says that we must detach ourselves from the result or the outcome in order to allow what we desire what we want to manifest, what we want to create to actually materialize in this three dimensional plane. So, you know, when we've done our part, right, meaning you put 100% into whatever it is you're wanting to create. You got to learn to let go. You got to let go of the outcome, right? Because you did your part. Now, what I find for me, if I'm still attached to certain things, then what that really is telling me is that I haven't put in 100% effort. I haven't did every single thing, dotted all the I's, crossed all the T's, because I'm still concerned, I'm still attached, I'm still worried about, you know, my input into the situation. Okay? Now, I want to read to you a little bit, and then uh, we'll discuss a little further here on the formula that you can use so that you can be detached and you can go about creating manifesting what it is that you desire and not having to worry about is it going to happen because once you know once you realize and know your true power you no longer worry about will something happen the way that you want it to happen because you 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 have your highest truth or what is it called um your highest maximum is that in every situation you already know that you've won. Think about that. Think about your highest maximum being in every situation you know that you have already won. If that's your highest maximum, everything else is child's play. All of this earth stuff, this is child's play. You've already won. Like, You came down here as a winner to play. So it's like, uh, everything else is second nature to that maximum. Think about what I'm saying here. Okay. Now, that comes with time. Getting to that knowing, getting to that confidence, if you will, 
It comes with work. It comes with cultivating yourself. It comes with knowing how to manipulate matter by going into the mind through meditation, through stillness, in order to create ripples in this dimension that bend to your will. Now, let me read this little bit here from the Law of Detachment. It says, In detachment lies the wisdom of uncertainty. In the wisdom of uncertainty lies the freedom from our past, from the known, which is the prison of past conditioning. In our willingness to step into the unknown, the field of all possibilities, we surrender ourselves to the creative mind that orchestrates the dance of the universe. So what is that saying? That's saying that you are not just depending upon your own abilities, but now you are leaning on the divine and you are connecting with the infinite possibilities, the infinite potential of the divine, the greater mind, if you will. The greater mind, if you will. So now this gives you some steps. I will put the law of detachment into effect by making a commitment to take the following steps. Number one, today I will commit myself to detachment. I will allow myself and those around me the freedom to be as they are. I will not rigidly impose my idea of how things should be. I will not force solutions on problems, thereby creating new problems. I will participate in everything with detached involvement. Wow. That's freeing yourself up from frustration. That's freeing yourself up from worry. That is just freeing yourself up to be in the present moment and not worrying about the past, not worrying about the future, not worrying about what people are going to do, what they're going to say, blah, 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 blah. Just living. Just living and being and not being attached to every little thing. Number two, today I will factor in uncertainty as an essential ingredient of my experience and my willingness to accept uncertainty. Solutions will spontaneously emerge out of the problem out of the confusion, disorder, and the chaos. The more uncertain things seem to be, the more secure I will feel because uncertainty is my path to freedom. Through the wisdom of uncertainty, I will find my security. Wow. That's saying get comfortable with the chaos. Get comfortable with the unknown. See, the known is just basically your past experience. If you're wanting something new, Focusing in on your past experience is not going to get you something new. So you have to become comfortable in the uncertainty because you already know your highest maximum is you already won. You already won, baby. Nothing to worry about. Just be happy. <laughs> Enjoy the ride. Enjoy the moment. And then the third piece is I will step into the field of all possibilities and anticipate the excitement that can occur when I remain open to an infinity of choices. When I step into the field of all possibilities, I will experience all the fun, adventure, magic, and the mystery of life. So, the law of detachment is one of those laws whereby, again, it comes from an inner knowing that you've already won. Because you have put in 100% effort into what it is that you're wanting to create and what it is that you're wanting to manifest. Now, here's the, here's the key. If you don't put in the 100%, like me, probably you're going to have some, you're going to have some attachment. You're going to have some attachment. Okay. So, you know, when you, you've done your very best towards a thing, you say, like, hey, it is what it is. Let the chips fall where they may. Right? So now I want to talk to my investment family and my uh, investment community. So as we are doing our various investments, whether it's crypto, 
stock options, or what have you, real estate. We have to ensure that we've done all of our research. We've done all of our due diligence. We've done everything that we needed to do. Dotted all the I's, crossed all the T's. And then we executed on that particular trade. And when we execute on that particular trade, we let the chips fall where they may. We don't allow ourselves to be frustrated. We don't allow ourselves to, to uh, you know, stare at charts <laughs> all day, all night. Because why? We came here to play. We came here to have fun. We came here to experience the mysteries of life. So when you can detach fully, that means, again, you have 100% done everything that you needed to do. And this is for anything. Even think about like a relationship that may go sour, right? And you want to hang on to that thing because you know you haven't put your all in it, right? You haven't done everything that you could do. But once you know that you did everything that you could and you put in 100%, you're good. You're good. You let it go. You detach. That's the beautiful thing about the law of detachment. That's the beautiful thing. And, and it, it empowers you. One of the things that I do, like when I affirm, when I affirm things that I want as far as my intentions, I affirm that thing or something greater. I'm not so rigidly attached. So like if I'm, if my intention is to manifest a million dollars in the next 12 months, I'm not going to be so rigid and say that I can only receive this million dollars in this particular way, or I can only receive love in this particular way from this particular person. See, that's rigid. That's rigid. And you're, 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 you're not allowing the universe to operate in its fullness because you're being so rigid with your intention and with your desires. So what you do is you affirm that thing that it is that you want to show up or something greater outside of your expectations or outside of your imagination. And that's how you can play with this thing and you can play with this this energy and you can create you can you can you can manifest all that you desire and not being rigidly attached to it and being totally detached and enjoying the ride and enjoying the mystery and enjoying the infinite possibilities so I hope that you've enjoyed today's episode I'll hear you on tomorrow with our next upcoming episode. So peace and unconditional love to you. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe via iTunes and Google Play for upcoming episodes. If you're committed to scaling your business and life to the next level, book a free strategy session with Cashflow Queen Kenitra by visiting the website, nobscloser.com. Again, that's nobscloser.com. Again, visit nobscloser.com to book a free strategy session today.